What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P. Today we're gonna be checking out something pretty cool. This is a 3D gaming mouse. And it actually has two joysticks on this. Now it's not necessarily a gaming mouse, but it is targeted towards gamers. But you can think of the endless possibilities and use this pretty much with any 3D application. So taking a look at it, let's just address it right away. Let's talk about those two joysticks. First on the left side of the mouse where your thumb sits, you have a joystick right there. This isn't anything out of the ordinary, you know, it's just like a standard joystick you would find on something like a gamepad. But where it really starts to get interesting is the internal joystick. The mouse itself is pretty much a joystick. So once you apply pressure on the front, back side, left, or right side of the mouse, the base is going to stay still, and you can now manipulate the body of the mouse to move it around like that second internal joystick. It's very interesting once you try it out. Now before we get into it all, this is actually an earlier prototype from Lexip. They're on Kickstarter right now, making a much newer updated version, and it is currently just killing the campaign. If you want to check it out, if you're interested in this and you want to, you know, help fund the campaign, I'll have the Kickstarter link down below for you guys. But this is where it all began. So flipping the mouse over, they use a laser sensor with a 3200 DPI. But you might notice some other unique things. There's actually six of these ceramic feet. Usually mice have some sort of padding or rubber on the bottom to help it slide around your mouse pad. But these ceramic feet literally make it glide. It was really, really interesting. Like the second I had this down on my mouse pad and started gaming, you could really feel just how smooth this is. It, it literally glides. You do have rubber padding on both the left and right side of the mouse. You have a standard forward and backward button. On top is kind of like a DPI switcher behind the scroll wheel. And the left and right clicks are actually sort of recessed a little bit so it's not on the front of the mouse when you're clicking down. And that's so you can apply the pressure to that internal joystick and go forward. So you wouldn't be like, you know, pressing the mouse, you would still be applying pressure without activating the left or right click. Now going off their Kickstarter, they've made a few changes to the mouse with the 2018 version, including some, you know, RGB lighting. It does look a little bit more modern. And they're also selling this in a left and a right-handed version for everyone out there to use this. So that was a good idea from them. And before we begin, we're going to head over to the PC and show you guys, you know, real-time use in gaming. But just think of the possibilities with this, you know. Yes, for 3D programs like CAD, um, whatever you would usually use a 3D external joystick for, you can use with this. Think of like the flight simulators. You can now control the flight just by moving, you know, your hand up and down. Not, not even, you know, fully moving the mouse around. So really unlocks a lot of new capabilities with gaming. So let's head over to the PC. I'll show you the software really quick and we'll jump into a few games. All right, so real quick to show you the software. Um, again, this is all an early prototype for stuff. You can change up your wheel sensitivity, your mouse sensitivity overall. Um, you can reconfigure all the buttons if you want. You can configure the joystick here, uh, the Lexit button, which is kind of like, you know, like a DPI changer. Um, as for axis, this is again, gonna let you kind of configure what the whole tilting motion of the mouse does. I have it pretty much set up to be like WASD for when I'm gaming for my basic controls. And here you have your dead zone for the, the thumb joystick, your DPI configuration. And uh, you have some RGB lighting control here, but this mouse does not have RGB lighting. That's for the one on Kickstarter. But just to show you guys real quick a first-hand demo of what this is like, they have a little Lexip logo here. So with the thumb joystick, you know, I can zoom in and out if I want by going um, up and down with the thumb joystick, left and right. It's going to like kind of twirl it around. But same thing now when I actually press down on the front of the mouse. It's, you know, it's spinning forward. Back and have it spin backward, left, right. So you can see the, the real time manipulation you have here with a 3D mouse like this. And now let's hop into a game where we can see it uh, firsthand. Okay, so now we're gonna boot up GTA 5 because this is one game that uh, you could really take advantage of a 3D mouse like this. And we get in the helicopter. Because obviously this has, you know, flying, racing, um, all that good stuff running around. So right now I'm pressing up on the joysticks so you can see right here. And it's letting me control, um, you know, the acceleration. And now when I start to really move the mouse itself, that's when I can control like where I'm looking and how I'm flying. So it's definitely pretty cool. And if you think about it, it's kind of like if you're, let me switch the camera for you guys. It's kind of like you're holding a 3D model of a helicopter. So the way you move your wrist is going to reflect the way you're actually moving in the games. And I have it set, uh, I, I remapped all the buttons inside so I can, you know, look around and use both joysticks to uh, do the majority of my movements in the game. All right, so let's see if we could uh, kind of fly through this little area of skyscrapers here. So cutting left, all right. And I just use, like I said, both joysticks here. I guess just for the added effect. Oh, really? 
<laughs> I applied a lot of pressure there, so that that was pretty cool. Just nearly missed that, but you can see that this is going to give us much more control over something like you know a mouse and keyboard. Like if I had a mouse and keyboard there, I probably would have crashed. So uh, it feels really cool. All right, so running around too, because like I said, I have uh, both the joysticks here configured for like Waz. Let's see. Let's drive around a bit. I can you know, look around and stuff because you could still use it like a mouse. And she almost crashed into me here. Let's, uh, oops, let's uh, get in the car. Um, what I was trying before, it is very, very finicky. So right now I'm just using uh, the thumb joystick to drive because once I use the actual mouse, you like accelerate really quickly because it's very sensitive and you spin out like there's no tomorrow. Okay, so I repeat, very, very sensitive. I'm just very lightly, if you could see, like th pressing down on the top of the mouse, and just like that, I, I spun out because emphasis on uh, on sensitive here for this. So I'll try to make it around here. That was pretty nice. Now I feel like I'm losing control. All right, use a little bit of the thumbstick. Almost missed that. Okay. Just a little bit of slight pressure on the back too helps us uh, slow down. And yeah, see, I had a little bit more pressure there in the front, and I spun out. So it's it's really really tough to drive. Uh, it could just be the way the mouse interacts with the game like this, but I'm telling you, I'm I'm trying not to not to crash here, and it's not working out too good. Um, I feel like for this, it's just a lot easier to use something like the joystick. But yeah, still crashed. Next up is this game called uh, Wreckfest. It's like a demolition derby, and here it's the same thing. I have both. Of the uh, the joysticks configured for WASD, just so I can have a little bit more control if I'm not applying enough pressure on the actual mouse itself. Uh, this one's a little bit more difficult because there's just so much going on. So to to get that right movement, it's it's really tough. Here, I can press back to reverse. Let's hit someone with the booty. There we go. A nice slam. Go forward again. So I mean, hopefully the the camera angle is working out for you guys, but you could see. Uh, just like the way I'm moving my wrist gives me full control of the car. I don't have to use the the joystick if I want. See, like I, I won't use it now. Uh, but like I said, I just, I just have them configured just in case I want to have a little bit more control. Oh man, I I just committed murder. You see that? <laughs> I would have been thrown out immediately. Back it up again. See, we, we definitely when you're going in reverse, I feel like I don't have as much control. Um, it's definitely more sensitive in the front, but I'm just like spinning out a lot when I'm going in reverse. Uh, it, it is it is still finicky, and like I said, it's an early prototype. Nice hit. Shunt. That's an underrated word. Shunt. Alright, so very, very light. Because I'm telling you, when you when you press down all the way, nice T-bone. When you press down all the way on um, the top of the mouse, you like just go 0 to 100 real quick and you spin out easily. Getting some good hits here though. Getting some good hits. So like I said, I have most of the keys here uh, rebinded in the game itself, but yeah, I'm just spinning out. Uh, it's, I'm telling you guys, it's not easy, but it is very cool once you get it down or if a game does play properly. Uh, another thing to note is, okay, go forward. Um, this game isn't like one of these verified supported games, so that could be an issue why, or that could be a reason why I'm having some issues with the controls. So hopefully down the line they have more supported games, but we got to take someone out here. All right, so just lightly... Lightly press them down. Use a joystick here. Oh, that was a good hit. First takedown. First takedown. Oh, <laughs> hell of a T-bone. And uh, we're stuck. Can't reverse. There we go. Glitched out for a second. And all right, lightly, lightly throttle in. This guy. Oh, another killer hit here. Again, I can't back up. Oh, man, this isn't good. This is a three-car pile-up orgy going on here of clipping. Can't back up. I'm applying as much pressure as I can. There we go. Ooh! Try to back into him. Oh man, he's getting some good hits on me. He's getting some good hits. I just missed him. And here we go. Let's just chase each other backwards. Spinning out. <laughs> and another game of... It's, it's just a chase. That's all it is. It's cat and mouse here. There we go. That was a good hit. Back up. Oh, my car is so damaged. It's, it's so hard to control it. I feel like I'm pressing so hard on this mouse. <laughs> oh, look at that. Nice. We won. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs>
All right, so as you saw, it was kind of difficult, admittedly, because uh, the two games that I played, or most of the games that I have, really aren't supported officially yet in their Lexip software. But you know, it's still a very early prototype. They don't have all the games supported. So I had to go in and manually rebind the controls in the game to be used with both the joysticks. And a lot of times it doesn't play nice with that. And the sensitivity in a lot of the driving games is really, really tough where it'll either like spin out right away in games like I played like uh, Dirt Rally, or it'll just be like really, really sensitive to where you're just flying right off the bat and you crash. So it, it is very finicky, like I said, very, very sensitive. But I found uh, driving was a lot easier using the joystick. Um, and I would like to see a maybe a bigger joystick thumb here because or a thumb joystick because it is kind of thin So and I think the one on Kickstarter does have a bit of a wider one So I, I like to see that definitely revised in the future um, but, but in terms of pros and cons like obviously this is something really unique and cool So I think the whole mouse as a whole is a, is a, is a pro but like I said cons like I see a little bit of a bigger joystick um, hopefully more or a more modern um, software base so you can go in and have more customization so it's not as finicky didn't really seem to work too well for me in their their software now and hopefully more supported games but I do like the ceramic feet in the bottom it really makes this thing glide and just having that you know the 3d axis just by you know, moving the mouse around is really really cool and interesting so I just wanted to take a little first look at the Lexip mouse like a uh, using this for gaming kind of thing and like I said it's on Kickstarter right now so if you want to check it out I will have their their whole campaign listed down below for you if you liked the video let me know give this video a thumbs up to show your support feel free to follow me on Twitter at random Frank P and last if you haven't already hit that subscribe button well I'm random Frank P hope you enjoyed have a good day